Okay, so this is a beginner tip, please, for all the people that keep alternating from one boat to the next. Okay? Please stop doing that. That don't make no sense whatsoever. And let me show you a quick uh, example of what I mean. Why people that do that. So in this example, my water bow and then my wind bow. And I see people keep doing this. Keep alternating from one to the next. That don't make no sense. Why? Because as you can see, this is very slow. And this is fast. So in order to have them, as you can see the gap in between, if I just use uh, my water bow, as you can see, there is really no gap between the arrows when I'm shooting them. And obviously this one is slow. So when I keep alternating from one to the next, as you can see, there is a gap, right? So it just makes me weaker, makes my damage less, right? Even if I have both of them at the same speed and the same strength, my, both of my bows, it still don't make any sense because that's requiring me to upgrade two bows at the same time, which obviously is going to use more material and more coins. When I can just focus on one bow, as I did right here, and I'll make it stronger, faster. So for all the people that keep alternating, please don't do that. That just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And you're spending, uh, you're wasting time by uh, strengthening your bow. And at the same time, even if you do that, it still doesn't do, there's no point by doing it. Because every stage has one bow that gives it extra damage. So figure out what, sta what stage you're playing on, which bow is the best for that stage, and then use that if you don't know let me show you real quick how to do it you can just go right here and i'll show you a quick example the wind for example extra damage to earth attribute enemy so and when you're fighting in a earth stage use your wind bow that will give you extra damage if you're fighting in the water stage Use your earth bow and water bow for fire attribute enemy and fire for wind. So this is how you figure this out, right? Other than that, you keep switching from one bow to the next, does absolutely nothing. Let me show you a quick example again. Or I can just do this. I hope you guys can see the point that I'm trying to make over here. And if you do that again, stop doing that. Especially in the very beginning, you're wasting your coins, your time to strengthen your bow, and your material on two items instead of just focusing on one. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe and uh, watch my uh, upcoming videos to see more helpful tips.